Okay, super foggy. It's 5.30 in the morning and we have dress rehearsal today. I'm on the warm up with Cole and Evan and we're gonna get a couple miles of marathon pace in in a few miles. All right, I'll see you after it's too dark. It's foggy. Okay friends, I just finished up a couple miles of marathon pace and did a little bit faster than marathon pace so that um, I can have a easier time of it at the beginning of the race. I did my marathon pace miles at 6.45 and 6.43. I'm pretty wet right now. All the moisture is um, less from sweat but from this like intense fog. It is so wet in the air. Um, because of the moisture, it's a little bit cool so I wore uh, arm sleeves to keep myself a little bit warm just because I had this like really thin singlet but on the day of the race i'm not i'm gonna ditch these arm sleeves not gonna wear them because it's going to be a pretty warm day i'm wearing an old pair of alpha Fly next percent ones just so that i could save a few more miles of uh, lifetime on my newer pair but i'm gonna wear the same model just uh, a fresher pair on race day going with uh, some generic um, amazon socks and my Lululemon Surge half tights that has uh, plenty of pocket space for gels. One pocket on each leg and one zipper pocket on the hip, which I will not use because I'm wearing my naked belt. And I'll have my GoPro in the naked belt and a soft flask in the back. Carry one soft flask in my hand and that'll give me a little bit of extra hydration. And then I'll dump that bottle on the course at some point. I'm wearing a Nike Air Swiss singlet. This is a very old version. Um, I have another singlet that is the second version and it's black and that's the one that I'm going to wear on race day. They pretty much fit identically so I just went with this so that the other shirt will be a little bit fresher. And I'll have um, my sunglasses on my head at the beginning of the race and then at, eventually I'll put them on my face. Alright, no selfie stick so I had to stop to talk a little bit. Um, also it's just way too foggy and dark so I'm moving and shaking. The hyper smooth function, the stabilizer in the camera, it gets really, really, really fuzzy and shaky. So I'm gonna finish up this run and I'll see you on my walk with Evan to school. Let's go. after the kids really tough track session on Tuesday and they're filling the doms so the recovery run this morning really helped to shake that out a little bit and they should be still pretty tight but good to go tomorrow morning when they wake up it was super foggy this morning so I wasn't able to get any action footage the GoPro has a hard time of capturing action shots in low light and unfortunately I didn't have the selfie stick so at low light plus close distance, shots come out like super, super fuzzy and shaky and blurry. I had the camera in my naked belt and I wore my running belt to simulate the marathon race and I had my GoPro in my belt. That freed up my hands from having to carry the camera and a bottle and things like that. It makes a giant difference not carrying anything on a run. I almost forgot what it feels like to run empty handed but I have mixed emotions about it since I wonder uh, how much harder I'm making my runs by carrying the camera or how much harder I'm making the marathon races by carrying the camera. But I also feel like it's so worth it because I get to document the kids' races and I get to bring you all along with me. And for me, that value is immeasurable to have all of my friends come and join us on our running journey. So the dress rehearsal went really, really well today. I was able to cruise at a little bit faster than marathon pace and it felt super, super easy. My only issue was just having some stomach problems, um, which I believe I can get dialed in with sticking to the right menu 
a couple days before race day. Definitely gotta go heavy on the carbs, keep the fiber intake at a moderate level, and it's hard to do, but I gotta ditch all the fats. And for me, I also have to stay away from gluten. If I just do all those things, I'll be okay for the marathon race. So the Boston Marathon for me is more of a fun run. I feel like I have the fitness to run at around three hours. And my goal is to have as much fun as possible, to soak in the race, soak in Boston, that unicorn atmosphere, and do my best to get my good friend Dwayne Hung to the finish line in under three hours. So tomorrow I'm gonna to be working on training plans and catching up with all of the athletes who I coach, preparing a lot of food for the kids while I'm gone, and packing up to make sure that I have everything all in order before I leave for Boston. So the next time you see me, I'll be on my way to Boston. Speaking of Boston, I want to shout out to my friend Steven for qualifying for Boston at Rebel Mount Charleston with an amazing 40902. Let's go. Congratulations on your BQ. I'll see you in Boston next year, Steven. So much gratitude and love to our Patreon team. Can't do it without you. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Strava and join our Strava Club by searching for AHRC. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't done so already. It helps out our channel a ton. I had breakfast with the kids this morning. We had savory oatmeal, but now it's time for breakfast number two. So I'm gonna go home and get that in my belly. And I hope you have a great day and a meaningful run. We'll see you in the next one. All right, bye now. I'm two days into college with a busy, busy mind. That guy that we named Colin, he's so handsome, he's so kind. My friends tell me I'm crazy, say I take it way too far. Cause I told him that it's over, cause he doesn't play guitar. I'm only two days into college and my bedroom is a mess. There's just so much